on three components. You need a product, you need traffic, and you need conversion. All right? So today I would like to talk about traffic. How can you, you know, how can you find, how, how can you get, uh, today I'm going to talk about free traffic. How can you get target leads for your business? So today I want to, you know, to go desktop sharing. I'm going to show you a uh, strategy that you can implement in order to find target leads, people in your niche. So let me see. Can you see my screen? Yes, great. So, great. First of all, you really need, if you want to take your business to the next level, you need to create an online presence. So you can do this in using some sort of tools. But first of all, you need to brand yourself and not, and not only your business. Even if you are internet marketing or a brick and mortar business, I really encourage you to create an online presence and to get to know people in your niche. So I'm going to, to show you what I've been doing using Facebook. You can use all sorts of social media sites, platforms, but today I'd like to talk with you about Facebook. So normally that's what I've been doing. So instead of, you know, chasing your friends and, and, and uh, you know, family, you can find target leads, people that are already promoting their business online and in your niche. So this is what I've been doing using Facebook groups. So here, uh, if you, you can, you are going to find some groups in your niche. And I'm going to show you, because I'm the home-based business, I'm going to show you how I use this Facebook graph search. So you come here, you go to your profile, and then you come here on the top, the Facebook graph search. search you can search for people, place, and things. So this is what I do. Suppose home business base business and you are going to find hundreds of groups so I'm going to you know to get the first one here and in this case I am a member of this one here but if you are not a member of this one or, or any sort of groups you just click join and they are going to accept you. We have open groups and closed groups. So after you, you know, you join the group, you come here and you are going to have a look at what people are posting. If you, if you, if you have a look, most people are just, you know, placing their ads here. They are throwing their links all over the place, as you can see here. They are not building relationship which is a big mistake so you are going to what i'm going to tell you is to do something something different first of all you are going to have a look at the latest posts because it means people are basically online if they are not using auto posters they are prob probably online so i get the like the latest five posts and I have a look at the profile of the people. So I'd like to, to connect with people that, you know, look presentable. They are uh, sharing things that I like. Uh, and uh, not only, you know, pictures that you like. Because there are some people, they place stuff that are not very nice. So you have to be very, you know, particular what sort of people you are you would like to connect people that would like to work with to build a relationship 
So suppose, where is now here? I'm going to hover over his profile. I can see he's a family guy. He looks like presentable. So this is the kind of person that I'd like to work with. So I come here. First of all, I'm going to like his post. After that, I can, you know, I can write a comment to connect with him. So suppose, hi, another great tip is to tag the person. So you click here, and then Reginald, and then you click him. So here he's going to be notified because he's been tagged. After you tag his name, you can write something like that. I would like, I would like to know more about you and what you do online. Please send me a friend request. Please send me a friend request. Okay. So now he is going to be notified. Here there is an arrow here, this one here. So Reginald is going to be notified by Facebook that I liked his post and made a comment on the whole business. So it's going to, you know, to call his attention. He, he might send me a friend request. And, now, and from there we are going to build a relationship. So I really encourage you to, you know, after, you know, every hour, you do this with five people, three to five people on each group. And then you move to another group and you do the same. So this way you are going to get to know people that are working in your niche. So very target leads. So this is the way, one of the good strategies that you can implement so you are not going to lack of leads, because this way you can connect to hundreds and thousands of people. You can even come here, and I sometimes connect with people. Can you see here? 834 new people. So I'd like to welcome new members to the group and send them private messages. But I'm going to talk about that in maybe in our next training. So guys, basically this is one of the ways you can, you know, every day get target leads. You never run out of leads because here, yeah, just in this group, you have over 12,000 people. So this way, you are going to be different. Instead of just placing your ads, your posts all over the place, throwing your links, you are going to act differently. You are going to like their, you know, their posts and comment. This way, you are going to get their attention instead of just placing here. You have to be different. You have to learn, open, you know, open your mind for different strategies to get to know people and connect with them. And after, you know, they have you, you are going to build relationship with them. All right? So guys, basically, this is the tip I have for you today. So, I really encourage you to join as many groups as possible and every, you know, every hour, whenever you have some time, do this to five people in each group. This way, you are, not, you are never going to run out of leads. Get to know people, build a relationship instead of just, you know, placing your ads everywhere. You know, in a private message, offer people help, talk to them. Share strategies that work for you and for them. And from there, going to build relationship. People know who like they know people who like uh, people they know like and trust. And it's in, and for you to you know to gain that trust, you need to offer help to bring value to the community. And this way, you are going to build your online presence. Yes, yeah, guys, Harry, are you ready? Yes, I am. Thank you very much, Alejandre. This is very, this is so true. It's all about building relationship in any business. When you just think about the local, um, 
the local boulangerie that we would say in France, the local store, that's where we just build relationship with the person. And that's why we come back, of course, for the good products they offer and the good service, but also for the people. And it's exactly the same online. Thank you so much, Alejandra. It just makes sense, but sometimes we forget. So um, now I'm just going to set, yeah, it's true. I'm setting my timer and um, I'm going to make a quick presentation. It's basically about Instagram today. It's an introduction to Instagram. So um, I'm going to, Alejandre, could you just switch it back to chat? Let's see. There we go. Thank you. So, so I'm not sure if you guys are on Instagram. I personally, I've been on Instagram for a little bit, but you know, for several months, but I didn't really do anything with it. I was like, you know, what's that? You know, which I wasn't sure. You know, just a new, um, a new uh, social media platform, and there's just, you know quite a lot out there so I was like well you know I'm just on Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter that's already enough but you know what I started to really uh, learn about Instagram and it's really cool I really like it and the cool thing well some of the cool things about Instagram is that number one it's uh, summertime and it's so most people spend less time in front of their computer and more time with their phone on the beach and all so it's really good because Instagram is not a website, it's only an app. So basically you just, you know, go to the Apple Store or to um, Google Play and you download Instagram. So what's really good with it is that you can build your network in a very fun way. I, you know, if you like pictures, and I do, it's really fun. So what, keep in mind, what is Instagram about? Instagram is about sharing your personal pictures, your lifestyle, and that's, you know, the most, that's the most part of it. So now if you want to promote your business, then I just recommend that you share a little bit about your business, but not 100% about your business. You know, people want to know about you, they want to see cool pictures, and they want to see about your lifestyle, what you do, what you do for fun and all. So um, let me start the first slide here. Okay. Okay, so considering that I have an iPhone and it's an application, I couldn't really connect my iPhone to the computer. So I took shots. It's different with Android because you can actually see it on your computer. Well, maybe there's an application, um, but I haven't, I didn't find it yet. So anyway, I just took a picture of my screen, of my iPhone screen, and I'm going to uh, walk you through that. So you see the Instagram app. That's my screen. Then... Uh, there you go. Then that's the profile. That's the profile. Uh, your, you know, that's how you set up your your Instagram profile. So basically, you see, I just started, you know, not very long ago, but it's really cool. So here you have. That's where you can add your personal information. So uh, here I just put my personal page, but you can, you know, just add anything you you want. I just noticed that it was really good because when you just hover over um, someone who likes or comments on your uh, picture then you just ho hover over the name and then you can actually see that first line you see this name and you see this line as well so I thought that was a good spot to um, you know to just uh, brand myself here and then also I have a clickable link link here to my website and here you know mompreneur work at home mom I love my boys I like fitness and the beach all right. So that's actually your profile is actually the only place where you can add um, information, like you can add links. Okay. So that's where you should refer people to. All right. Whenever you just have a picture, you just post a picture. If you want them to look at your website, then just say, just click. You know, if you want to learn more, just um, go to my bio or just go to my profile to learn more about you know, my website or what I do or whatever. Uh, so here, that's where you just edit your profile. Then we go back to um, to the uh, iPhone. So I was going to show you uh, Instacode. That's an app. You see with Instagram, that's an app. Now there's other apps that you can add to it. 
and that uh, will really, really help. So for instance, InstaQuote is one that I really like. There's different ones. I like this one personally. What is InstaQuote for? Okay, so you have your Instagram app. What you can do is take pictures, videos, short videos, minimum three minutes, and I can't remember the max, but it's short videos. So you can share that, you know, from your iPhone, from your smartphone. And that's pretty much it. So now, how do you share other things? Such as if you want to share quotes, for instance. Well, you use, for instance, InstaQuote. So with InstaQuote, you just have, so basic, they have basic backgrounds and then also have the option. This is one a personal picture that I set as a background. So you can, you have many, many options with that. And here you can just grab a quote. So either a quote from someone or a quote that you make yourself. Alejandre made a good training uh, last week about uh, where to get good quotes from, and it's brainyquote.com. So here I just made my personal quote on my um, background, personal background. And then what you do, so you have, you know, different, uh, different uh, ways to type it, different colors, different fonts. And then what you do, you just click on... You just click on the little um, arrow at the bottom. I'm not sure if we see it on that one. Yeah, it's at the bottom right there. And then it will show the screen and you just share on Instagram. You share. You can share on the other apps, on the other social media as well. But if you share on Instagram, I'll show you what you can do next. So you just share on Instagram. So that's another quote that I posted um, yesterday. And here... Now you see you just have all your tags. So you pay attention because instantly they're going, InstaQuote is going to uh, tag uh, InstaQuote, okay, and a few other things. So you just want to put your own quotes, your own um, tags, okay. So here just like market specific, expert, work, at, work from home. Then you can look for different keywords that are relevant to your niche and to your uh, picture, of course. Now... Now what you do, once you have these uh, tags, then you have the option to share it to, and you, you have to link, I mean, I rec highly recommend that you, um, that you connect your Instagram app to your Facebook account, to your Twitter account, to your Flickr account if you have one, Tumblr account if you have one, uh, and then you just share it instantly to these accounts. So that's basically where I share on other social media from, from Instagram. Now, um, Let's see, the other thing is Tags for Likes. So that's another app that works with Instagram. What's Tags for Likes for? Okay, so there you go. That's the Tags for Likes. So now, what do I use it for? You can use it for different things, just to look at popular, popular tags, just to look at, um, you know, specific, um, specific, uh, for example, like uh, categories, specific categories, tags, and also I use it, and that's what I, I recommend uh, that you guys do, is you just click on follow, shout out, like, and what it's going to do, it's going to give you some tags that you just have to just click on copy, and you just go back to your, you just go back to your picture, and you, you hit comment, and you just paste all these tags. And what are all these tags going to do? They're just going to um, they're just going to get you more likes, basically. So it's really important if you want you know more followers or if you want um, more people to just like your pictures, then that's what you want to do. You can erase it later on and add you know more uh, niche specific tags. But at first, it's really good to uh, to do that to get more likes and followers. Uh, so that's what it looks like. You see my first quotes, my first uh, tags, and the second ones. Then, so that's what uh, it looks like when you have, uh, when you just hit your, um, the button in the middle here, you just get following and you get news. So here that's, you know, that's basically a log of everyone who just liked your photo or commented on your photo, okay, or started following you. So what you want to do, it's a, you know, it's a give and take, right? So you just want to, you know, people who follow you, you just want to follow them back and vice versa. Okay, so you just have to pay attention to that. I'm still working on that because it's pretty new. So 
I, I didn't, um, you know, you just want to basically get it even. Followers and who you're following, you just want to get it even. If you're, for example, if you have like 100 followers, you want to have 100 person following you, basically. Uh, now, this is your news. So when you click on news, this is the news. So they just like post pictures and, and that's pretty cool to look at that too. So once again, it's social. So you just want to interact with people, of course. And that's what's fun. And you can make like two, three, um, two, three different posts every day. And that, that's really fun. And, um, and this way you can build relationship and build your network on Instagram while having fun while you're out, while you're not inside, while you're at the beach or whatever. Uh, next thing is, uh, well, that's actually the, the next yeah, slide, is uh, two different, two more apps uh, that are working with Instagram. So what are they for? It's followers plus and get followers. There's also, you know, other other apps that, that work with it, but we will do, I will, I could do an extensive, a more extensive training soon, okay? But now it's, you know, a basic, uh, a basic introduction to Instagram and with that you can just get started and just start building your network and have fun on Instagram. So followers plus, so get followers, that's what it's for, to get followers. Uh, it's um, a point system. So basically, you just start following people. If you follow one person, you get four points. And then you just have people, you know, with those points, people will follow you. And followers plus is basically to see who's following you, who's not following you. And just that that helps you to just make, make it even. So then you can just unfollow the ones who are not following you. Okay. So that's really, um, that's really helpful. So that's it for Instagram. I hope that you enjoyed the presentation. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Maybe even more fun than with Facebook. So um, let's see. Now I'm just going to do a quick presentation about, for the ones who are not in our team, a quick presentation about what Alejandra and I and our team are using to build our business online. It's uh, tools, internet marketing tools, and any business, like Alejandra said, brick and mortar business or any other business, marketing, network marketing, etc., cetera, um, can use these tools and should use these tools in order to be efficient and to have an automated business and generate leads in an automated way. So um, there's your tools, pretty cool picture. So what do you need online? You just need a web presence, so you need a website. You need uh, capture, capture pages. So you can capture email addresses, then they go to your autoresponder where you can build your list and they say money is in the list. So the bigger your list, um, the more money you're going to make. So that's, uh, we use the autoresponder to send follow-up emails to your um, prospects and, you know, people who are interested in what you're doing and also to send broadcast. Then we have video email to send cool video, cool emails with video, uh, live meeting room that we're using right now, and um, expert internet marketing training and coaching. So all of this will not only automate your business but increase your profits. So if you are interested in learning more about it, then just get back to the person who invited you to this conference. And blessings to you all. I will see you next week.